welcome to our channel. Today we are going to bring you travel to Johor in Changi Airport in Singapore. Johor is an airport mall. Yes, it's a mall inside Changi Airport. You can either come here by bus or MRT. Johor is attached to Terminal 1 of the airport. Johor is special not because it is an airport mall, but there are more reasons why it is no ordinary mall. In this video, we'll show you why this mall is so impressive. We'll show you 5 amazing things about Johor Changi Airport that you probably don't know. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we're going to show you is the most outstanding part of this mall. At the center of the mall, you can see the waterfall. This is the tallest man-made indoor waterfall. The waterfall travels 5 stories before hitting ground level. And then further down 2 stories below ground. The water flows through an acrylic funnel. The funnel is soundproof, so you don't hear the water. But you can see it, and this makes it so mesmerizing. Guys, we still want this over here. We have basement 2. So as you can see, the funnel starts from there. Then it goes down to basement 1, and this is basement 2 where you can touch it. Literally, when you are actually here and you look up from here, it feels like the water is crashing to us. Hey guys, look at the fountain. Right now it's yellow color, but in the camera it looks like it's just clear. It's red. It's turning red. It's turning red. It's red. waterfall in both daylight and nighttime. Take note of the operation hours. By night, the fall looks even more stunning. The light show is currently suspended, but you can still see the changing colors of the fall. Over 2,000 trees and with many different plant species. With plants from Malaysia, Thailand, USA, Spain, and many other countries. So I find this really cool. They really make Jewel feel like you're in a jungle, a forest. And this fountain literally stirs you me. It's so cooling in here. Also, really cool. So, make sure bring a jacket along. Okay guys, so right now we're gonna go up to the fifth floor which is where the canopy part is, canopy beach is, all the fun activities is here. So we're gonna go to the canopy beach now to see the fountain at night with all these colors on. So excited! We need to have an admission ticket to enter the bridge. Guys, we are on the canopy bridge. The bridge is 23 meters above ground, so you're almost on top of everything. Do you know that that pillar over there supports yeah. the dome? Wow! There's a glass bottom for you to walk on. It's really exciting to see what's below. We walk on this bridge in both daylight and night time. To see our visit in daylight, click on the link in the description. Oh 
because it's literally no one. You can find canopy park on level 5. This is where you'll find the theme park with play attractions and flower gardens for you to walk through. And now it's extra creepy. There is a mission fee to enter the park, but this will let you enjoy the gardens only. If you want to play, each attraction needs an admission ticket. For the best price, we recommend you to purchase a bundle package. That way, it will work out cheaper for all the attractions, including the canopy bridge we mentioned earlier. Guys, this is the foggy ball. Look, it's coming out me. So cool. It looks like I'm going to cloud. <laughs> Going it. One of the highlights here is the sky net. You either walk or bounce on the net, trying to balance yourself. I love the bouncing net. Oh We've covered the canopy park extensively in our previous video. To see all that, click on the link in the description. So this one's only until 9.45. This is the bouncing net at night, guys. Walking net right over there. But walking net is a little scary because they have bigger holes. Here, smaller holes. I love bouncing nets, guys. Because she does me come here. Guys, whoa, time to exit. Let's go. So, guys, this is the most popular restaurant in Dua, but sadly, it's not halal, so we can't try. Do you know that other than fine dining, you can have a cheaper food option in basement too? At the basement, you can find local favourites in small food stalls, very much like the hawker scene in Singapore. There's also a lot of fast food, restaurants, and most are halal certified. We tried out the kale mochi in our previous visit. To see the video, click on the link in the description. Food. Let's get in. Guys, look, we're going to the Pepper's Finance here. Oh, it's quite big. You can find almost everything from a wide range of food products to everyday essentials. There is really a lot of unique stuff you can find in these outlets. Usually, you don't see this in other outlets outside the airport. 
Are you impressed with Joanna? Let us know which part Joanna is your favorite. You know? You hesitant. Say so yeah, bye bye, Joanna. No. Can you see that's the departure hall here? It's certainly a great place to spend time if you have a long layover in Changi. Or you can visit it as a day trip. So now we're gonna go back home. We're gonna take the bus and we're gonna show you where the bus is. Also, if this is your first time watching our channel, please click on the subscribe button to see more videos like this. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time and bring you guys travel again.